Let's get across to Stephen Nash, who joins us from Fig Securities this morning. Um, what are we actually hoping for out of this this morning, Stephen? Um, look, in terms of the, uh, the Spanish auction, it's very difficult to uh, you know, predict the outcome of that, but it's a fairly small auction. Um, obviously, the market's been aware of this for a while. The coverage of the uh, shorter-term auction was reasonably reasonably sound, and uh, I, I'd expect that, uh, that the auction will go reasonably well, uh, given the... Uh, focus of markets on this right now um, and the size of the auction. Uh, some comments from the Bundesbank are possibly not that positive, but um, you'll have to wait and see, I think. So, I mean, what are we actually thinking about how this gets contained from here, Stephen? Um, mm. This is, you know, the key marker for this week. Yep. Um, but how do they actually regain the confidence of markets beyond that? Look, I think there's got to be more uh, policy work by the Europeans broadly with regard to uh, all of the, all of the countries in, in Europe, in, including Spain. Um, the Spanish banking uh, s uh, problem is just not contained within Spain. There's other banks that have large exposures to Spanish property. We've seen uh, Spanish property prices come off for 16 consecutive quarters now, uh, a, a level of over 20 percent down from the peak. This problem is a serious one and really needs, you know, a, a serious uh, policy response. The IMF have been um, recommending uh, uh, that uh, banking, the banking sector doesn't contract lending, and I hope uh, really that doesn't occur because that will exacerbate existing problems there. I want to bring it back home, Stephen, um, and kind of where um, budget considerations come into play for us as well. There will be a key speech from the Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, today um, saying that the surplus um, will help to bring down rates, linking the two very closely and almost, I guess, almost claiming, um, yeah. claiming the success if, if homeowners actually get that rate cut delivered. What do you make of the link um, that she'll be commenting on today? Look, I think it's... Uh, it, it, Politicians should be very careful about commenting on rates, but uh, obviously uh, the Prime Minister will be, will be commenting on the, uh, the, fiscal, uh, uh, the fiscal approach that the government's taking towards a surplus. They're going to make a lot of difficult decisions, and I think that does give uh, some room for lower rates, um, but it's, it's, it's always problematic for politicians to comment. They've always done it. They probably always will. The market uh, has really anticipated this ever since the, the comments by Swan a, a few weeks ago. The bond market has rallied su substantially and probably has rallied a little bit too much. Uh, the three-year bond being ba basically 100 points under cash right now. Which is partly why I suppose the Australian dollar's up as well. Is this Julia Gillard's attempt to jawbone the, the currency lower? Look, I think some of this may be uh, with, uh, aimed at uh, safeguarding manufacturing jobs which are under threat right now with this higher high currency. I think the RBA is becoming more and more aware of this problem in the non-mining sector and it looks set that uh, it probably will act fairly soon to reduce rates but um, I think the market's really wanting a lot more than the RBA is prepared to deliver right now. I'd expect this year something like 50 basis points. The market's looking for 100 at the moment so it's uh, you know the market's overdone, what, overdone expectations as it usually does. There's another story that, that we've been covering this morning, Stephen, that you would have seen. Um, Asian sovereign wealth funds and also central banks um, grabbing a record level of government debt. It's, up, it's something like doubled in the past two years. Yeah. What's the message here? Well, I, I think uh, with the, the growth of our market, we've, we've been, become more liquid. Uh, it's very important that we get a decent sized bond market um, and the current size is, is getting towards that. We have a very liquid currency, um, obviously a very strong rating. So, if you can uh, get extra yield uh, with a very sovereign, uh, very very solid rating, that's what these sovereign wealth funds are looking for. Obviously, money is coming out of the European sector, and, and it's finding a home in high yielding, high quality assets, and that's what the Australian bond market is. Hopefully, um, the demand will shift from Commonwealth alone to more semi-governments, which are offering some great yields right now. I expect that'll happen over time, but um, it's, it's, it's just inevitable that uh, these sovereign wealth funds will look towards Australia because we've got the credit quality and we've got a liquid currency, we've basically got everything they need to invest. So I expect more of this to happen. Yeah, we're one of the prettiest contestants in the AAA beauty pageant, as UBS's Matthew yeah. Johnson puts it. Thank you so much, Stephen Nash, for right. today from Fix.